It was a horrific crime. A teenage girl shot to death in the San Jacinto Mountains. The suspects, her own friends. Now one of the convicted killers is about to be released from prison. New at 5, Inland Empire reporter Leticia Juarez says authorities are concerned he could kill again. Kelly Bullwinkle would be 38 years old today. Tragically, the 18-year-old was murdered in 2003. Now one of her killers, Damian Guerrero, is set to walk free. He is someone who could kill again. The circumstances presented themselves and the opportunity presented themselves. Connie Lasky is with the San Bernardino County District Attorney's Life and Parole Unit. She says at the time of the murder, Guerrero, along with Kenzie Nordman, were friends with Bullwinkle. But back on September 13, 2003, the two lured her to San Timoteo Canyon. Kinsey and uh, Kelly were walking along the path. Damien was behind them. He said, Kelly, she turned around and he shot her in the face. Damien then handed the gun to Kinsey. Um, the gun jammed. Uh, Kinsey handed the gun back to Damien. Damien cleared the jam in the gun. And then Kinsey then fired the kill shot. The two then buried her body in a shallow grave that Guerrero had dug the day prior and placed a couch over the area. The gruesome crime gained national attention and was even made into a lifetime movie. They created a false, a false alibi with the movie and the dinner um, and then pretended they didn't know what had happened to her until her body was found and at first continued to deny until Kinsey was the first one who told the police the truth. Nordman and Guerrero were tried for murder together. Nordman was convicted of first degree murder and given a 25 years to life sentence. But the jury was hung on Guerrero. He later accepted a plea deal for second-degree murder with a sentence of 15 years to life. Bullwinkle's mother, Diana, in her victim impact statement then, asked for justice. Please give us faith in the justice system and show my little girl, Kelly, that she did not die in vain. I love Kelly and I miss her very much. Bullwinkle's mother died in 2014. This past Tuesday, Guerrero was granted parole over the objection of the San Bernardino County District Attorney's Office who asked the governor to intervene. There was no, no reason for her to be killed. When Guerrero is released, he will be on parole for the next three to five years. But unlike a sex offender, he will not be required to register. Reporting outside the San Bernardino County District Attorney's Office, Leticia Juarez, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.